The Bravos have their backs against the wall once again. It's game two of the championship series, and it's do or die for the Braves. Welcome in to a pregame Tomahawk Talk. Calvin Cristoforo, Reeves Jackson, and Daniel Coates here from Stony Brook Field in Brewster, where Daniel, the Braves, look to go back to Doran Park with this series tied. They need a win today. How do they get it? Well, you got to have more than five hits. I think that's really where it starts. However, uh, you know, Prosecchi and Green were absolutely phenomenal yesterday for the Brewster Whitecaps on the mound. However, that means we're probably not going to see them today. So, uh, and something else to keep in mind is behind us, we have the Braves taking batting practice. Brewster took batting practice here at Stony Brook yesterday. There was no BP. Of course, there was some cage practice. However, the Braves bats just need to get going. They out hit. The Brewster Whitecaps yesterday by a hit five to four, but still just couldn't capitalize on or, or get, you know, streaks of hits together. And really, we had some really nice bunts by Dalton Rushing and Christian Napchek. We got men on base. Max Anderson got on with a nice single. But then there was no one past second base yesterday for base runners. I expect a little more small ball from Harvey Shapiro today, trying to get runs early on in this game. Well, it's do or die. The Braves need to do whatever they can to try to produce runs. On the other side of things last night, the pitching was excellent. Jake Bennett to Ken Turner and Tyler Stewart all pitched very, very well. Tonight, it's Michael Sansone, who started the season as the best pitcher in the league, has had two bad outings his last two appearances. How does he turn it around today? Well, I think two bad outings finally means he's due for a good outing today. And I think it all starts with what we talked about, what the problem with Sansone was in his last two starts, and that was just pitches being left over the plate too much. His fastball was too high in the zone. It was middle-middle or middle up, middle up, and... That's just not going to work here, especially with his velocity, 86, 87. So if Sansone can locate that fastball low in the zone, and another key for him to be successful today is locating that changeup in the strike zone, maybe even starting it in the strike zone, tailing it out, because lately his changeup's been falling in the dirt and hitters have been yeah. spitting on it. They've been changing their approach at the plate against Sansone to wait on that fastball, and then they've been attacking it. So if he's able to be a little more effective with the breaking pitches and that changeup, it'll set up his fastball to be even more effective just as it was earlier in the season. And... For the offense's sake, let's hope their bats are as hot as the weather today. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a hot one here at Stony Brook Field. The Braves need to come alive if they want a shot at taking home the championship crown. It's do or die once again for the Braves. And once again, it's an early start. A 4 o'clock first pitch here from Brewster. Nick and I will get you rolling at 3.30 with before the Bravos. But until then, as always, go Braves.